All right, Joe, thank you for that. On the square, love is in the air, and a few blocks from here at the Multnomah County Courthouse, dozens of couples are making February 14th, 2019, their wedding day. Yeah, every year on this, <laughs> this date, the courthouse is a popular spot for tying the knot. Several judges perform weddings year round, but this day tends to be one of the busiest once they're done with the day's court business. We wanted to learn more about planning a courthouse wedding, which can be very affordable. So we're pleased to have in studio Paul Mullen, his bride, Evelyn Santiago. They're scheduled to be married. 45 minutes from now, and we have <laughs> Judge Andrew Lavin from Multnomah County. So first of all, the question to you folks, how did you decide on February 14th? Uh, I wanted to do two birds, one stone. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that way I know I'm not going to forget. Yep. And, you know, just make it happen. But Paul, when she said, hey, Thursday or Friday, did you know, okay, Valentine's Day or the 13th? Yeah, well, in the beginning I didn't. Then when I looked at my phone, popped up. Yeah. I said, yeah, I'm doing that's this. The one. That's I'm the in one. for the 14th. It's going to save me in the long run here. <laughs> sure. Evelyn, uh, in terms of planning, what went into it? Uh, not much. I mean, it was just more like nerve-wracking about getting the license, I yeah, guess, yeah. and then picking up the day and make sure that a judge was available for us. Like, this is going to be great. We right? have one right here. He could marry yeah. you right now. I yeah. know. <laughs> I'm judge, on the spot now. Judge, you guys do a lot of these, right? But this we week, do. this week, and especially this day, it gets busy. It's very busy this week. Yeah. Tell us about what goes into it. It's f relatively reasonable. It's very reasonably priced. Yeah. Uh, we try to keep it as inexpensive and low stress and easy as possible because we know that that's usually what people yeah. are looking for. Yeah. And uh, it's about uh, 265, 285 bucks, something around that, uh, when you add up all of the fees that are involved. And it just doesn't have to be the bride and the groom. They can bring guests and a lot of people come Absolutely. in, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It can be just the bride and groom, and then we can find you the two witnesses that yeah. you need, or you can bring in your whole family. Sometimes we have dozens of people that show up. One thing you do need to know, there is security at the courthouse. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you pass through a metal detector, yeah, and all your security. guests do. Yep, they've got mm -hmm. the security checkpoint, and everybody in the wedding has to, has to pass has through to that just like anybody else. There you go. Evelyn, what are you most looking forward to? You're 45 minutes away from the big moment. Oh, gosh. This has been the rest of my life that I love. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we missed the smooch on camera. <laughs> yeah, right. And how about you, Paul? What does it mean to take this lovely woman as your bride? Oh, everything. I've yeah. been waiting. 38. <laughs> I finally yeah. found her. It took a while, but... You've We're been waiting, here. and here it is. Okay, what That's is it about? Right. 45 minutes, right? So we wanted to just yeah. say hey, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And how great that is. Thanks for stopping Thank by and, and sharing your Appreciate day with it. us. That's great. Thank you. Judge, thanks for being here as yeah, well. Yeah, my pleasure.